We live in an age of turmoil and disruption, or so it seems. Journalists are comparing the current surge of populism to the rise of fascism in the 1930s, and economists are predicting an unprecedented destruction of jobs due to automation. When thoughts about the future go haywire, it's time for historians to step in. As experts for the past, we can't promise more accurate predictions, but we can offer a more balanced look at the historical evidence. Let's take, as an example, the scary assumption that we are reliving the 1930s when a global economic depression was followed by the Nazi takeover of Germany, World War II and the Holocaust. Is the United States under Donald Trump in danger of becoming a new Third Reich? Most probably not. Why? The Weimar Republic was barely 15 years old when it was toppled by the Nazis. During its short existence, many Germans on the right and on the left, among the working classes and the elites, had loathed it, thinking that democracy was forced on them by the winners of World War I. None of this applies to the United States today, and although the country is going through uncertain times under President Trump, a repetition of the 1930s is, thanks to its old and stable institutions, highly unlikely. My second example is automation. Must we expect the end of wage labour as we know it, because machines will take over human jobs? This scenario is in fact as old as industrial capitalism itself. Starting with spinning machines in the 18th century, new technologies were introduced to replace human labour and thus people have expected from early on that industrialization would ultimately kill most jobs. This expectation has reappeared with every major technological change and every time it has been proven wrong. A case in point on the 1950s when the term automation became widely used. A fearful US government prepared for mass unemployment due to technological progress and instead encountered two decades of full employment. This scary scenario was quickly forgotten until it re-emerged in the 1980s. So why should it be different this time? As a historian, I'm confident it won't.